Welcome to Heritage Caravan 2020. We are currently at Agotime Kwetoi, but a couple of hours ago, this is how the entire journey began. Meaning the way the whole program has been organized, I'm sincerely convinced that it's not going to be an ordinary, it's not going to be just normal thing of traveling, seeing places. The excitement looks so different, the preparation looks so different, and I'm highly fevered, I see myself having been blessed to be part of this program. I'm just excited, and I know the excitement is going to be continued, it's going to be even more than I'm expecting. Because the way I see the people, the participants, their backgrounds, and the way they look, and it's great. It's great. Yeah, my name is Bella Melchizedek. I'm very excited to be on this trip right now. I'm expecting to be well informed, educated. I'm expecting to see Ghana more and learn new things I don't know about Ghana. And I want to thank CTFM and all the sponsors for such a wonderful trip. It's well organized and it's on point. I, I hope everybody will take advantage of this next year and be part of the city caravan. It's amazing and I love it. I'm so excited already. Um, organization take. I'm so much looking forward to the excitement and the fun and the sights and the people. Everybody's just lovely. Everybody's excited. Everybody's happy. So yeah, that's it. This is my first time I've been on Heritage Caravan and I'm looking forward to going to all these 12 regions. I'm really excited about it. And I'm not going alone. I'm going with my two daughters, Apna and Akusua. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I'm from Germany, and it's my first time to participate in the CDFM Heritage Caravan. And I'm super excited to see so many different places. I'm especially looking forward to see the north, the Tamale and the national parks. Uh, yeah, so I'm really looking forward to this trip. I think we'll have a good time. The reason why I joined the Heritech, I've been hearing a lot about it when I listen to City, and I've always wanted to travel. I always wanted to travel around. So this time around, I decided that I mean, I'm, why not start with Ghana? And the Heritech car was available. So and anytime I listen to City, Bernard, and Kojo and Co. They talk about the excitement that they have on it, so, so I thought, why not you to try? So I hope I'm going to have a whole lot of fun and distress from, from the stress I'm having now. And I hope my boss has, is listening because he says that I really deserve this. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm, uh, I'm Iman Wete, I'm bus one driver. I've been started with Upo uh, from the beginning. I think I'm happy. Uh, to join city, city uh, heritage caravan. So today I'm happy my uh, my partners all will join me so that we we'll do whatever the uh, customers want. We we'll make sure God help us. We we'll take people there safely and bring you back safely. 
without any problem to the heritage caravan. So I'm happy I'm with the heritage caravan trip. Thank you. You are welcome to Ghana and Togo. Here we are in Togo now. Immediately you leave the a small carpet, then you've entered Togo. There is a building over there. One part, one first room is in Ghana. The second room is in Togo because of the demarcation. You see. You know, it is just one traditional area. But because of the demarcation, you know, the whole area has been colonized by the Germans. And later on, when the Germans were about to leave, then they gave part to Ghana and then part to the French. So that is how it came by. But we have one traditional chief known as Nene, Noe Keteku. Currently, we have the third. He is the overall of the whole Agotime land. So far, we've gotten about 54 communities. About 37 is in Togo, and then the rest in Ghana. But we are all, traditionally, we are all under one paramount chief. So we came by Kenu on one faithful day before we arrive at Lepo, now known as Lepongunu, near the fishing harbor at Tema. Before the people around who came earlier, one morning when they woke up, then they saw that some people have also landed. And they didn't know where they have passed before coming to that point. So the name came that they came by the canoe. So our name became Leliome. And you know, in those days, there is war here, war there, due to misunderstandings that happened. And then our ancestors started fighting, 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 until they came here. So he used the whisk, placed it on the water, and then the water divided into two. Okay. So, so we were saying that <laughs> uh, we are part of uh, Moses' uh, generation. <laughs> and uh, when we were migrating from e uh, Egypt through Sudan, you know, our ancestors, they were weavers. So they carried their trade from that end to this place. So when we came here, we started the trade, practicing the trade, that's the weaving. But during the Shanti War, the part of, or some of our ancestors were captured and then sent to Ashanti. Because of the uniqueness of the cloth in those days, then they also started to learn from them. So that's why we always say, Kente originates from Agotime. This is the true history of the whole thing. But now, Kente has come to stay. 
So whether it's from Ashanti, it's from Volta, it's from OT, it's from uh, Westin, the North, it is what? It's from Ghana. That's all. Ghana first. Accra had lots of fun on the bus, ate Shea Jama, and we are finally at our very first destination, Agotime Petoy, the home of Kente in the Volta region. Today we'll be engaging with the people here, the chiefs here, really appreciating their culture, their food. We'll learn a bit of dance from them as well and really appreciate what it means to be from Agotime Petoy. I can't wait for you to discover all the excitement and fun that we'll have right here at Agotime Factory. So join us on the Caravan Diaries. <laughs> This is very traditional and if you have feelings and emotions by now, you will begin to tickle yourself and feel some sensations in your body. These are pure maidens drawn carefully from the royal houses and they have gone to fetch water to welcome the guests as part of our tradition. Indeed, Kente in Agatime connotes the instructional words, Ke Nate, open the warp and press it. So in Agatime, Kente means Ke Nate, open it and close it. So as the weavers do, they open the warp and they close it. So Kente in Agatime is an instructional word called Ke Nate. In as much as the debate about the origin of Kente may be, may be good for the purity of academic theory, what is important is the unity Kente brings as a national symbol that stretches beyond the distant horizons of Ghana. Kente is just not a body attire. It represents a value, a value greater than a single ethnic group in Ghana. Ladies and gentlemen, along the path of history, gifted weavers have designed an almost endless number of complex patterns using a wide range of colors and folklore. Undoubtedly, there are a witty in every piece of cloth with individual designs that have been merged into a composite portrait of designs that represent our culture. One also sees the design stylishly consistent and arranged in a shifting configuration that merge seamlessly to produce one unit of complex beauty. These are the unknowns and the unknowns of Kente cloth that provide a glorious postcard spare view of Ghana's charm and sense of character which we must focus on. Ladies and gentlemen, the Kente cloth represents our identity and you are here today to see that piece in the loom from the oldest looms right here in the Agotime traditional area. Thank you. 